Hello everybody, welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. This is going to be kind of the last video in the series of just experimenting with the um, silver black velvet uh, striper brush, or you could call it the dagger or the uh, sword brush. Just playing around with um, different brush strokes and different, you know, just different things that are taking place with it. This one I want to kind of play around with um, watercolor and gradiate the color on it. So we'll look kind of a more um, lily type painting. I think it'd be a tiger lily. I haven't painted one in a while. I have some uh, videos on the side, uh, pictures on the side that I'm just looking at. This is a mixture of lemon yellow that I charged onto it. So I kind of put it, let's see if you can see that in the video right there. I'm getting the lemon yellow here and then grabbing some ultramarine on the end. So let's see what happens with this. Now let's try an actual tiger lily. a little exciting a little nervous I haven't painted one of these in years and I never did with the uh, Western watercolors so I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna charge yellow and put some light red oxide on the end let's see where I want to do this Try to get a little bit more variation. Let's come down over on top of that. I, when I learned these, I was watching Henry Lee, so he's a great YouTube source for, um, I'm taking Ultramarine and just charging it into these spots. He is a great YouTube source for, um, Chinese brush painting and whatnot, and that's who I had, um, watched and learned these from originally. I do have some books on the Chinese brush painting, but I would say that he would be just a, an absolute amazing resource if it's something that you're looking into. I'm mixing some lemon yellow with the ultramarine. I'm just going to kind of put that stalk in. And I frankly, I don't recall if there was leaves like that would come off this stalk, but I'm going to add some. And while I'm going to give this a little bit to dry and then I'm going to come in and do the stamens. So while it's taking place, we'll play around with a little bit more charging of color. Let's do burnt sienna and a little bit of ultramarine on the end. And we'll use that for our round. Probably grab some uh, burnt umber in it as well. A 
feed in some ultramarine. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second just so we can get it to dry off and then I'll put the stamens in. Okay, so let's put our um, the stamens in, kind of just finish this off. So we're gonna use the same brush, the dagger brush, and try to get nice um, stamen lines. Kind of do a sideways dot form. And then, and that was Payne's Gray right there, just in case you're uh, wondering or following along. And ultimately, I think that this brush is really cool. And it, but I think it's, uh, for me, it would serve kind of like these motifs. I don't see how to be able to use it in um, landscape painting. Maybe if the brush was bigger, I know they do make them in bigger sizes, but for these type of motifs, I think it's really fun and really good viable option. These, uh, like I said, uh, striper or dagger or sword brushes. Hope, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, follow. Um, and of course I have a Patreon account if you ever want to support the channel. All right, have a great day.